Hello everyone, I am Kyle and this is the wonderful Jade. Welcome to this podcast. Uh, we have taken ourselves out of the rat race and into a beautiful spot on the New South Wales coast called Scott's Head. So we are right down there is not actually Scott's Head, that's Southwest Rocks. And somewhere along there is uh, Grassy Head. Nice. And Scott's Head is that way. Just there. So, but we are in the lovely town of Scott's Head. We've taken ourselves away for a short sabbatical we're calling it and we're having um, a little bit of time to get into flow surf smash out some podcasts yeah and um and do it so i wanted to actually antagonize you today <laughs> and um i've been i've been holding on to these, on to these this mics are heavy you know i can't hit you <laughs> <laughs> i feel you i might, don't contain volume <laughs> uh, i feel you might throw that shoulder yeah. out if you try and hit yeah. me with it <laughs> that's right <down> here. <laughs> <laughs> so I, I wanted to antagonize you a little bit so this morning you did a session on virtues, values in a, in a business or in a team unit. Yes. And I've been wanting to antagonise you with this one. About, You've been waiting to do this I for have. so long. I've, I have. <laughs> I know. And, and I know that we disagree on this one, <laughs> which is fun. So um, maybe we will end up rolling on the grass fighting each other, you know, biting, pulling hair, all that yeah. sort of stuff. Let's hope not. I've um, got lots of wires that I can tie you up with. <laughs> <laughs> the camera's not pointed down at the grass though, so not everyone's going to be able to see it. Yes. So, <laughs> what I wanted to talk about was when we're forming our virtues and when we put our virtues together mm-hmm. is the the difference between a way and two motivators. Ah, yes. So for me, what I believe is that our virtues and 100% our virtues, all of them should have a positive vibe to them. Mm-hmm. What about you? I feel like you're a... Uh you're attacking my no dickhead policy. <laughs> I feel like this has a very positive vibe. And uh, as a few people have heard on the on the podcast, one of my clients, uh, Super Butcher, adopted the no dickhead policy, yep. and they they love it. They love it and so much so that they broadcast it on radio. They brought they do broadcast it on radio, <laughs> and like the amount of applicants we've had lately through the recruitment campaign, every time we ask someone what's their favourite virtue. Without shadow of a doubt, it's the no dickhead policy. No. Yes. Yes. I like it. So. And I understand that. I so, do get that. Uh, I do. This is. <laughs> I know you want to rumble. <laughs> but. <laughs> oh, I am torn. Because. I, I've been I've been playing with my own virtues lately. Because with the, with the rebranding to Vare and going through. And before we were using my personal values of yep. live, love, laugh, lead, learn. But that's, for me, it's too personal and it's it doesn't play out enough in the ripple effect that we want to have. So I've been looking at how I really live and how the team really lives. And one of them, one of the ones I revisited this morning is fuck mediocre. <laughs> um, and, and, then, and then that extrapolates out into how we don't do mediocre and what that means as a benchmark. Now, to, to sort of contend against that, contend <laughs> yes. that, we have be awesome. Yes. <laughs> we have be the ripple and radiate energy, but, and, and this is probably where I need, I haven't rolled them out because I need to play with it a bit more <laughs> and go, is that, is sorry, that the team, right thing? If you're listening team, yeah, sorry. Don't, don't you listen. don't know what's coming yet. And this, for me though, it comes back to the stand for and stand against and what do you feel most in your gut? Because some people, like you might stand for equality but you stand against racism. Yep. Do you know what I mean? There's like, some people have that, there's a, it's the away from and to, right? Yep. But there's that little bit more conviction yep. to one or another. And probably because I, I would say my, my biggest fear in life is mediocrity. <laughs> Not that there's anything wrong with it for other people. I just don't want it for myself. I, I can't ever imagine you being mediocre. <laughs> yeah. Beige. <laughs> no. I, yeah. 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 I just don't well, do it's mediocre. it's always crisp white. Yeah. I, like, I can't contend with the white. I'm, I have been wearing this for two days, so you know, I can't really say too much. But So it's always crisp white. Yep. I can't actually imagine mediocre. Yeah. And even, like, I don't know, the, the way I do things, I just feel like life is for living, yep. right? And live it to your fullest and fullest expression. And where it, But where it, where it comes as a stand against for me is I fucking can't stand people who don't use their full potential. Yeah. Like, yep. I don't care if you're not the best and you're not the bit like the, the fastest person or the best this or the best that, but if you have the natural talent to be, 
and you squander it and you're lazy and you don't try, that just <laughs> pisses me off. Now, I want to try something. <laughs> <laughs> now, say it again. Fuck mediocrity. Fuck mediocrity. <laughs> uh, okay. Now no. say, be awesome. Be awesome. Ah, uh, now... You didn't see the camera, though. I did see the camera. Yes. Which one had a more positive outlook? Oh, Be Awesome definitely has. <laughs> so now, so I, I sort of see as a very, very similar virtue. Mm. But for me, and this, this is why I wanted to poke you on this one, because I know that we probably won't necessarily agree. And that's okay. We're allowed to disagree with the world. But what, what I sort of see is I want my team to be coming in with a positive outlook and a positive outlook. Okay, facing. I'm going to challenge that. Ooh. Ready? They might be listening. No, no, that's, that's fine. <laughs> no, no, it's around mindsets and the how detrimental to mental health it can be to, to constantly be the person that's always positive. Uh, and I don't know if – maybe I rumbled with Michelle um, Crawford on this, but definitely through my Mind Valley stuff, those people that are always, I'm so positive, and I – it honestly, in the end, dissolves things because without without dark, you don't have light, and and you don't understand the shadows, the, the shadows and the contrast, uh, and that constant positivity is can be exhausting as well. So it's not that I don't I don't agree with you in terms of <laughs> we should try and and step in with a more positive light, but for me, probably because I am a bit polarizing and a bit. Ball, balls to the wall or nothing at all. I think that might be one of our virtues. <laughs> but is all of your team the same? Mm, I think all of my team would agree on fuck mediocrity. Yep, yep. And I think Would that they I th outwardly say it in public? They would say it with an asterisk and an at symbol. <laughs> and what's great is, because you know my team very well, but to me they are way more open than what they would be externally. Yep. So a few people that we probably wouldn't think would say it do say it, yep. but I feel like they would have they they would be more on board with like the conviction they'd go that's very that's us like that's a that's an us thing and I think that fiddling around with the the right language it does depend on the team but it also depends on the language you use within and going okay is that awesome well in some person's version it might be awesome but if you look at something you can you can in your gut go did I do a mediocre job on that <laughs> yep. So, so then, yeah. then are you always doubting yourself and not giving yourself the space to give the credit where you probably need it? And I, I know there's two of us in the room that are really terrible at giving ourselves credit. <laughs> yeah. I'm playing around with a version and, and I'm not sure what it's going to be just yet. Like Super Butcher users own it and own it in the positive, like own, own, own your pats on the back and yep. own your shit. Mine is it's around the extreme ownership. But if, for me, I think it's that next level where I always say it's where are we at cause? And I always say, when we've had an amazing achievement, where were you at cause? What yep. what led to it? What was yep. the things that you did to make make you get there? And so I'm playing around with one of them being around something of being at cause. Yep. There's another one there that I'm working through, which is around, I haven't got the words yet. It's it's if you know better, do better. Ooh, I like that. That's and that cool. and that leads into being the ripple effect. So I'm and not sure if I need it. Question. And then ask a better question. Because if you don't know better, then ask a better question. Correct. I like it. That's pretty cool. So, I don't know if I need that because one of our core underlying taglines and virtues is be the ripple. So then if I extrapolate that out, like be the ripple of change that you want to see in the workplace in the world, are you being a positive ripple? And are you like, so if you know better about something, are you being the ripple effect to share that knowledge? So I'm going, do I need that as a separate one? Because if we really work through what being the ripple means, so for me, because I'm coach everyone else on this uh, and I come up with so many when I go through it, it's like, oh, where? There's yeah. so much. And I guess that you've touched on a really important thing there that when you are building it, and whether this is a business, a team, you know, even your own orbit, yeah. when you're building those virtues that you want to you live by. Now, I, I feel like we, we, haven't, we haven't sort of touched on the virtue value thing. So yeah. the difference that, we, that we've got between a virtue and a value. So, and, and most maybe sort of two or three years ago, maybe five years ago, the in thing was to have... A vision, values. mission, values. Vision, mission, values. VMV. VMV. And the values thing was how we would... It's our shared common beliefs. We'd judge everybody by yeah. it. Yeah. So whatever was going on in the business, we would judge everybody by it. Mm -hmm. And, you know, I've, I've said the word judge really, really sort of harshly because yeah. 
that's what it turns into is a judgment. And then if someone comes into the business that has a value that doesn't necessarily perfectly align, mm. then really that just becomes a total rub. Yep. Whereas when we start, when we did our team, the team day for APT 12 months ago, we on the fly sort of went, hang on, that's the wrong description, that, that's a rub. Mm. And, and we sort of, we had to work around it a bit and we, ke- we decided that we were going to have virtues. Virtues. Which were things to strive for. Yeah. And, I, and that really, really crafted the way that we put that together around what those virtues were going to be and really important to make sure that it was something that you could strive towards consistently. Yeah. You know, like in, instead of it being, here's a goal, we tick the goal off, oh yeah, we're yeah, amazing. We're you know, so for you know, something like Planet Plus, like we're never ever going to hit the pinnacle of Planet Plus. Yeah. While ever we've we've got feet on the ground here, we're never ever going to meet the pinnacle of Planet Plus. But we can always be thinking about how we can apply that, how we yeah. can be a tiny little bit better, better, rather than we don't we don't do this. Yeah. 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 So well, we don't do takeaway coffee cups. We don't do. We don't. That's, do a, that's a hard line. That's a, that is a very hard line. Yes. But the yes. reason why I've grabbed the virtues thing now, like why it really resonated with me and why I now roll that with all of my clients is people have a mental construct of what a value is. And to most people, their values are their belief systems. Yeah. And they... And that's mine. That's mine. And you it's don't... Mine. Just because I work for you, you don't get to tell me yep. what my personal values are yep. and how I should live my life yep. and how I was brought up and... There's a lot of work that needs to be done to understand the programming behind behind yeah. all of that for people. Because those values are built from yep. the day that you're born. Yeah. And they have a construct of what that word or that yeah. value means to them. And it doesn't necessarily translate mm. into how they behave at work. Because my planet plus as a value yep. might mean that I don't ever use a, a I don't ever use a, a throwaway coffee cup, whereas someone yep. else might be, well, I live off grid. Yeah. So that's two totally different values. versions. Yeah. But we can both be working towards a virtue of, well, we both believe that we should be trying to improve things. Well, what it becomes is, it's like you said, it's something that we're striving towards because it's something new and a different framework that people haven't mentally constructed for themselves. You get to create it with them. Yep. And so there's more buy into the team and it's got a new language around it and it's easier to adopt and it becomes you think think through what the behavior is. So for Planet Plus, it isn't about like this specific thing or that thing. It's about know better, do better. Yep. It's just like make a better choice. Yep. So if you're being Planet Plus, would you choose to do this or would you choose to do that? And it, you can't, and one of them's not going to be in somebody else's eyes Planet Plus, but it's more Planet Plus than and the alternative. And it's about the, it's about the, when we think like this, we act like this. I remember doing the brainstorming session with our team. It was actually quite surprising how they joined the dots for the behaviours yeah. that matched the virtues. Because like our virtues seem very broad brush and they sh- I guess they should really. Yeah. And it was really, really interesting to see how, how everyone joined the dots and how everyone actually had a very, very different opinion yeah. on what that actually meant. Even though prob- I don't think there was any arguments as such about... No, that, that's a dumb idea. Yeah. The, well, look, the only question that came up when we talked about Planet Plus is because APT services a lot of mining, yep. there was like, oh, well, is that a rub? Are we not doing it? It's like, well, we're actually helping them to be better and be more Planet Plus in what they do. Like, they're yep. going to use someone. They're going to continue to do what they do. Fix that fucking leak. Fix the fucking leak. <laughs> <laughs> right? <laughs> do you know what I mean? But that that is us being Planet Plus in that industry. Yep. Yeah. Because it's like, okay, well, what can we do to help them to do less damage? Yeah, and like, I, I, I totally understand people that are 100% against mining. And that, that's okay. I, I, can, I can understand their point of view. For me, I sort of go, well, this is, this is a part of our world. Yeah. And, you know, the students for our training business that come through, they're a part of our world. Yeah. And really it would be, you know, quite a remiss of us to sort of go, well, we're not dealing with you because you're in a dirty industry. Yeah. Like, I, I really, and, and 
this is back to how I started this conversation. I really don't go on the division thing. I yeah. don't go on the segregation. So for me, I, I'm, I'm always looking at that positive sort of mm. languaging. And, you know, we, we, can't, we can't just say no to some of these students. So what we can do is we can have a ripple. We can create that ripple by changing their mindset, which might change yeah. someone else next to them. Yeah. Well, even when you think about it, when those students come into the workshop, we give them a coffee cup and a whiteboard marker to write their order on to take to the coffee man. Yep. And, and that and, might be and something they go and do somewhere else. Yeah, and you you're telling them why, yep. and that that could just that just makes the that tiny seed could just make a d- slight difference in the decision yep. making as yep. they go through, yep. and then they're in their workplace and they're kind of going, oh, actually, we're wasting this over here. What if, like, yep. and it can spark. It can be the inspiration that sparks mm. some change, and every one percent makes a difference. So yeah. if every if every student went back and thought Planet Plus one percent each time. The difference that can be made yep. can be massive. Like even our guys now saying, like, "Oh, well, look, it would be plastic to laminate the to, to laminate the schematics. However, it, we wouldn't be printing as much. We'd be using less ink. We'd be using less power. Yep, we don't have they, to as many. They away. use so many. We think that the trade off actually worked out yeah. better. Yeah. Let's let's ha- let's explore that. And then we would run the line. Then we run the line to figure it out. I think that's an absolutely perfect example where the 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 normal line would have been it's plastic let's not do it mm. whereas a little by applying the virtue and thinking a little bit further down the line it was like well actually that's the lesser of the evils yeah yeah you know, we don't have we don't have a better solution right now yeah so this is the solution that we've got that has the minimal impact yeah that we can keep moving forward well because the thing i start playing out is how much transport to get the paper here the the yep. the new ink the getting rid of the ink cartridges all of like <laughs> Uh, All you, of the different things. You've got to tell your story about the transport. Oh, fucking Kogan. Oh, <laughs> I said that off mic. Uh. So because, so I don't have a virtue in my business about <laughs> eco or, or Planet Plus. Mine is it all sits under the ripple and be the change you want to see in the workplace and the world. So if we want to be the change like and, and you want to be the ripple effect for these types of things and you look at it, you go, okay, cool. What's my decision making? Okay. I'm going to buy from this one supplier because some of the things are more expensive, but I want just one delivery. One truck. I one want box, one truck, one, one box, one tape. Yep. Uh, that will be less resources. So I'm happy to pay a couple of extra bucks to have that process. I was a naive little blonde girl. <laughs> uh, every single thing has come individually packaged. Overpackaged. Oh, overpackaged. Ridiculously overpackaged. In a plastic bag. Even the eco stuff. That just really pisses me off. I'm like, why are you sending eco stuff? And it's like yep. in and all it, this crap. I, I really like, just to digress a little bit. So we both order from Zero, uh, not Zero. Who gives a crap? Yes. And so, you know, they actually live it. Like it's, you know, it's, it's yes, we send it to you in bulk. Yep. So that we don't mm-hmm. send it to you often. All the time. And yep. even down to the tape on it yep. is paper tape. Paper tape. So that, yep. you know, like th- they don't then go and wrap it in plastic. No. To send it out the door. It fits the box perfectly. Yes. And guess what? Toilet paper doesn't need packaging. It doesn't need packaging. Just like half the stuff, my 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 blue tack did <laughs> not need bubble wrap. <laughs> did not. It, it, it might have smashed. Maybe. But and then <laughs> like we had one of the one of my my whiteboard turned up damaged and dinged. Yep. And I'm like, oh, like this is this it hurts my soul to write on a dinted whiteboard. And they're like, we'll give you a five percent discount. I'm like. I'll take a 50% discount, thank you, just for the pissed off that I have to be every time I look at it. And then I can tell people why it's got a ding in it and then that, try and encourage them to do better. Yep. They're like, well, okay, well, we'll, we'll just replace it. I'm like, then you're just going to chuck this one in the bin. Yep. Yep. And it's more waste. And it's more it's, waste. Yep. And, it, and then you've got to post it. And all of the things I was trying to avoid, no, okay, I'll just deal with it. I still <laughs> want my 50%. <laughs> yeah. My right. fridge, my, my brand new fridge, it went in the first two weeks and they said oh we know what the problem is I'm like you still sold a fridge and you know what the problem is <laughs> well we can do an we can do an exchange i said okay what happens to this one you're gonna take it back fix it sell it a second what's yep. gonna happen they went oh no it goes to landfill i went no i will can this one be fixed yes it needs a part but it's gonna be a while i'm like fine do that because i yep. i i will i lost four loads of full fridge over Christmas, dozen oysters the next morning, not pretty. 
But what? but I just had to say to myself, what would I prefer? This brand new massive thing going straight to landfill yep. because of one one circuit breaker. Yep. That cost twenty cents. Yeah. To make. And yeah, it took definitely. it took the severely hungover young dude all of twenty minutes to fix it. <laughs> that include wheeling it out, <laughs> taking off the safety thing, putting it back together, having a good old chat. Yep. Telling me how he hadn't slept all night. Nice. Yeah. Nice. That's good. So let's let's sort of circle back. So when we develop our virtues and we, we present them to the team, it's actually really, really important to go through the towards and the away motivators that go mm. with it, all the good and the bad things that we see and all of that. So yeah. I started with a bit of sort of poking and prodding and, and making it hard on you. So I'm, I'm not totally against people understanding <laughs> the away motivators. Yeah. And, and certainly things like, no fucking takeaway cups. Uh, yes. uh, <laughs> Very passionate about that. <laughs> so, I just don't have coffee. Like it's not hard. You're not going to die. And and that's it. That's the choice that I made. And, um, you know, if if I if I can't use my keep cup, yeah, then can't I'm, have not, a I'm not buying a coffee. If yeah. I don't have my keep cup, yeah. then that's really a really good motivator for me to actually get that right and have it with me. Yeah, but, I go. So it's the first thing that goes everywhere with me. <laughs> and then what else can I use? So if we go back and, and as we unpack our virtues, mm. so really, it's it's not really up to the team. To come up with the virtues no we, we want their input but it's not really up to the team to come up with the virtues we we need to actually embed that mm. as the team leader or the founder and the reason why that's super important is because of the ripple effect right and and the well what in traditional organizations the waterfall effect yep. what you do is who you are so we've talked about i've talked about that book before but it really is because they model everyone models uh, and this goes back to the induction learning. We, as humans, we we learn by watching others and we rise or fall to the behavior of the lowest common denominator because yep. of the path of re- least resistance. We all know when parents say, do as I say, not as I do, the kids go, fuck you, man. Uh, yeah, nah. <laughs> um, so do the employees. So do the employees, okay. right? So that just doesn't work. Just saying words, and saying you expect something doesn't work. It needs to be modelled behaviour. So this is why you can't get a marketing department to come up with the words for you or an external, like, you can use an, like, my clients use me as an external consultant to drag it out of them because they don't necessarily yes. know how to articulate it Yes. or the real importance. So we, we took my, my initial values that we had for the business and sort of went, well, yeah, these all overlap. They actually point towards a bigger picture. So yeah. let, let's condense it a little bit and... And that's super important, like you say, is but to drag that out. But we made it more out. you as well. Yep. Yeah, uh, definitely. More personality, yeah. more more current APT, like your virtues. The values that you had before were great when you probably created them 10 years ago. Yep. But they didn't necessarily have the right verbiage yep. and language to suit yep. where you were now and where the team was. But if you don't have it by the leaders, so with one of the organisations I work with, we're not doing it just with the owner. We've got a sprinkle of the owner because he's still the, the guiding star and he's still leading the, the execs. But the majority of it was pulled out from who's the general manager and the operations manager because they're the people that are there. Boots on the ground. They're the ones. Like if, if it's not intrinsic to them, yep. if it's not how they honestly believe and behave and will model, then it's never going to filter through to everybody else. Yep. yep. So it it is it is important that... It's the virtue side of things is actually delivered to the team and that they get it. But it's really, really important to workshop with them the meaning oh. of it. And that's that's where I talk about there's definitely a way motivators in mm. the be awesome. You know, and I yeah. think as you're saying it, I think we actually went we came up with it with the team. It was <laughs> fuck mediocrity or it sucks or yeah, you know, like don't be mediocre. So with, with the languaging, we still had the, you know, and we've got those pages that the guys can go back to, the guys and girls can go well, back okay. to. Well, okay, do you want to tell everyone what the actual, like when when we have Be Awesome, what's the actual internal model of? <laughs> Showtime, bitches. Showtime, bitches. See, it's still positive. It's still positive. It's still, now that's, and that, that came because our, our team, they're, they're trainers, they have to walk into a classroom and really, the most important thing for them is to put the mask on 
Mm-hmm. Yeah, we don't often encourage people to put the mask on, but put the mask on. Yeah, you know, it, it doesn't matter that your back's hurting. It doesn't matter yeah. that your feet hurt. It doesn't matter that you've had a shit week. Yeah, whatever, Just whatever suck it up, the fuck princess. it is. Showtime. Showtime. Let's do <laughs> it. So, and that's but that's and to channel for some of them to channel a different energy. Yeah. To for again compared to their natural energy mm-hmm. and their their vibe. <laughs> their, their vibe. Their, their, uh, the how did they, they lose that? Across. So yeah, you know, like some some people are naturally quiet, mm. but they can still put on a show and. Yeah, you know, I think it's it's probably very very common for introvert. Um, that's what I was looking for. Introvert or extrovert. Well, yeah, and it's it's funny. Like I, I I say it all the time. Like I'm I'm happy to be the star in the middle of the show, doing all the things and all that sort of stuff. But equally, everyone can fuck off and leave me alone. Yeah, I am, I am a. Uh I'm non-binary. <laughs> I'm non-binary. And so, uh, and, and in, I guess, inverted. <laughs> you know, my my natural persona and my natural profile is to be the star, to be fairly bright and open, yeah. and and sort of go for it. But there are still times where I need to remind myself to put the show on. And yeah, you know, it is show time. I do need to put the front on, and I do need to do all of these things, even if I don't want to. Yeah, hundred percent. And it. it when you are getting in to present in front of people, you you have to have that show time. You've got to think about – it's about the audience now. It's not about you. Yes. So if you think show time, it's like what is, what's going to make it engaging for the people I'm speaking to? How do I get them to hear what I'm saying? How do I keep them – Yeah. how do I keep them engaged and, and, and following through the process? And all about them. Yeah. And yeah. so it, that, that languaging of show time really helps you to step into that mindset. Yeah. So, we'll go right back to the start. I did try to antagonise you. We didn't end up rolling around <laughs> on the grass fighting each other. We'll do that when we turn the camera off. Because I'm off. involved now. <laughs> we'll do that when we turn the camera <laughs> off and have another beer. Um, or maybe the rum. So, I, oh, I that did just, try to That tasted like childhood. <laughs> oh, that's a whole other story. <laughs> so, we, we did talk about a way and two motivators. Really, I think it's a personal thing. As, yeah. as we sort of just spoke about, you know, the, the founder, the, the top level team needs to pre- present all of these virtues to the team. Really, Let's be honest, if I didn't have something polarising in mind, it wouldn't be authentic, <laughs> would it? <laughs> I still think you can be polarising and positive. So it does, either way, done either way, <laughs> <laughs> you back chatting me, child. <laughs> So we can't we can have towards motivators. We can yeah. have away motivators in those virtues. It's really really important that they're authentic yeah. to the senior team, and you know often that's the founder or the GM and all of that because yeah. they have to lead it. They have to live it. They have to make sure that they're modelling it for everyone. And then once whatever those those actual virtues are, whether they're positive like they should be, or, or negative toned, we've then got to make sure. Negative. That everyone, <laughs> we've then got to make sure that everyone understands what both sides of that coin are, whether yeah. the, whether it's a positive or negative virtue or toned virtue. Behaviours. It's got to be about the behaviours yeah. that sit underneath it. What are the actions that sit yep. underneath it? Yeah. So we need to make sure that we go through that and that we look at both sides of that coin so yep. that everyone can understand it. Yeah. Whew. No fights. No so fights. I'm no Kyle. Wrong. This is the amazing Jade. We've just been talking virtues and positive and negative tones in our virtues. Um, we'd love to hear what the virtues are of your business or your team. If you're just running a team, because it's equally important in your team as it is in a business. So drop them below wherever you're listening. We'd love I'm, to hear it and we'd love to rumble on it. And I'm going to do a sneaky plug. Ooh. If you are running an organisation and you're struggling to figure out how to extract your virtues Ooh, and yes. to really articulate them and to go through this process. I am doing three day workshops on it now. So if you're interested in that, just team, can you put a thing along the bottom of the of video and in the show notes uh, with our email address, which is hello at jadegreen.com.au and just send us an email saying virtues and we'll hook you up. Excellent. Enjoy everybody. We'll see you on the next one. Bye guys. Oh, my God.